it's your boy DJ Wolf here. Um, couple of things. I uh, I uh didn't watch the Trump uh, dog and pony show last night. I'm not about to spend an uh, hour to maybe an hour and a half listening to all of his bullshit. I'm sorry, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Because I know he's going to talk about what I did for the blacks. I don't want to hear it. Of course, he does it so close to uh, February 1st. It's not even funny. Matter of fact, what is today? Uh, today is the 31st. But I, 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 I'm not going to sit there and waste my time listening to this guy brag about how great he is. Anybody, whether you're president or not president, regardless of who you are, regardless of where you came from, if you're doing a lot of bragging, you're a very insecure person. If, especially if you brag, doing a lot of bragging about yourself all the time. Even at, in, a, in a, so especially if you're doing it in the third person, you know. He is someone, and I have no problem saying it, I do not trust. I didn't vote for him. I didn't like what he said about the last president. He disrespected him totally. <laughs> and he's a racist. He can talk about how many black people we got jobs for. Don't mean shit. Don't mean you're not racist. Remember, there was something called slavery one time. Where everybody black worked for nothing. You know? So, employing black people doesn't mean anything if you're a racist or not. Don't mean nothing. You know? You could, you could be racist all year. You could... You could employ thousands of black people and still be a racist. You know? So it don't matter. But my point is this. Uh, Trump has done and said, well, he's did, he definitely said a lot of stuff that really uh, is unbecoming of a president as far as I'm concerned. He really has. And I don't care to listen to him until he start making some real sense for this country. I'm not going to listen to this guy. I'm not. I'm not going to waste my time. I'm not going to do it. This is a guy who has more money, or allegedly has more money than what to do, than what he knows than what he knows to do with. You know. And with the tax thing that they're doing now, he's going to rob people blind. The hard working people's country. Even his own constituents. He's gonna rip them off too. But some of them guys will still defend him to the hill, no matter what. You know, I had a co-worker do that with now some time ago. I was like, defending him to the hill, no matter what. Well, he's, he's better than Clinton. He's better than Hillary. No, he's not much better than Hillary from I never thought he was. But on the other hand, we didn't have, neither one of them were good choices to me, to be honest. I'm going to be totally honest. I wasn't going to vote. I was not going to vote last year. <laughs> I was so disappointed in the choices of candidates, I was not going to vote. I almost was going to vote myself in. I wish I had it now. Because, really, that's why, you know, I keep harking back to the thing with Monique. Monique is actually not trying to bring us together. And like somebody said, she was just an opportunist to, to, to get her butter biscuits. I've been saying from day one, this woman didn't care about, about black agenda. She didn't care about agenda about women. She cared about the agenda about herself. And her husband completely co-signed, of course. You know? And 
But that's another whole issue. I've been talking about it until I'm doing the face. I, and I said, you know, and I, and I said it before, and I, I said, hey, I wish you all the best. But you're not going to get all the best if you're doing stupid shit like this. You know, Monique. <laughs> I'm just saying. You know. And trying to uh, use uh, uh, things like the women's uh, so-called, what, 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 I ain't going to say so-called, I'm sorry. You're going to use these women uh, uh, agendas to get your own agenda to make to make money. You know, that's not even right. No one heard from you during the Baltimore riots either, by the way. And you're from there. So, I, I, I'm just ranting right now. I'm just kind of like, you know, I don't know. How are you going to be so blessed to be so talented and yet wasted? You know, complain about you don't get enough money. Now you are lucky to be even working in Hollywood. And I'm not saying that, that, you, that there aren't any disparities in um, with salaries. But shoot, at least some point build you a brand where you can talk that stuff. You don't even have a brand that you built where it's going to allow you to talk about it. You can't, you know, like Lee Daniels said, you got to play the game, baby. In order for you to, to play the game, you got to eat a little bit of humble pie. You know, and the fact that you were getting paid, you were won't get it. They were want to offer you three million dollars, but you, you walked away from that because you worry about what somebody else gets. Worry about building your brand. That's what I do. Those guys that making the business because. Uh, they worry about what, what was in somebody else's pocket. These guys are, are, are big time in business because they were building brands. You know. And unless you build brands, what you got to show for it? Nothing. You have nothing to show for it. You really freaking don't. You know. So. That's my rent. That's my two cents on it. And I'm out.